This is one of the most incredible feet I've ever trimmed. This is cow 137 and how she looked a few weeks ago. And this is the Hoof GP. So we are back at the farm where 137 resides and she's been well looked after since we last saw her. Her foot was in an incredible state last time. If we just flash up last time, this is the condition her foot came in. These are keratin fingers. And it happened because this cow was in some sort of an accident when she was younger. This is an ongoing problem and it's the first time that I personally have been treating her. So hopefully it's going well. Last time when she came in, we washed it all off completely and we could see the extent of those keratin fingers. We cut away what we could, but some of them would be alive. So we needed to be really very unbelievably careful with what we removed because we don't want to cut into live tissue at all costs. We removed as much as we possibly could and we doused the whole area with iodine. As you can see, it was a real mess. The iodine and the salicylic acid would hopefully kill off the remaining tissue so that it would fall away naturally and hopefully now that she's back in or just about to be back in, because if you look behind me, she's not there yet, she'll be looking much better. She's had that bandage on for a couple of weeks because the guys here at the farm have been looking after her and changing that bandage. So she's coming in right now and we'll get a chance to see whether or not we've been successful in any way at making her more comfortable. Here, Craig. Her foot is well up off the ground. It looks really good. What a difference so far. It truly is always a relief once you get the cow's hoof back in the air and see the extent of the improvement. But I can't wait to get this washed off and be able to have a proper look. To say I'm happy would be an understatement. It is looking really, really well. Far from healed, but really, really well. So the block is still in place. There's some loose and detached hoof on there. Obviously we've got these curtain fingers here still, which are Possibly dead, I'll tell you in a wee second. There's still work to do though, make no mistake about that. This hoof is far from healed. Clearly she still has major issues. If this was how her foot was the very first time we picked her up, we would say this was a serious problem. But when we compare it to how she was just a couple of weeks ago, the improvement is immense and I'm seriously happy about it but very keen to keep that progress moving forward. There's a void in there, look. Again, that's just gonna attract dirt and debris to stay in there and exacerbate the problem. Make it worse. See, I've not got into this at all, but just touching it has produced some of the red stuff. It's coming from in here, so it's not fully healed. And we need to get it there. You see, if I wash this off, look. See, look, that is part of the keratin fingers, but there's no blood supply to that at all, look. So we're pretty much done here. All we're gonna do is tidy up just a little bit more around the front and rewrap it with salicylic acid to kill even more of those keratin fingers and hopefully keep her improving at the rate she is. Iodine has been used for almost 200 years in the effective treatment of wounds on both animals and humans alike. It dehydrates the area, it acts as an antimicrobial agent, and believe it or not, it also acts as an anti-inflammatory agent to the skin and tissue that it comes in contact with. These two blocks that we put on before 
are doing an amazing job at keeping this right up off the ground and that's what's helping the most actually. The salicylic acid and the iodine are helping to completely dehydrate and kill the outer layers of flesh or tissue and that will hopefully bring about new tissue growth underneath and keep her on the road to recovery. Right, let's get her feet on the ground and see how she's walking. First though, here's a quick look back at how she was looking just a couple of weeks ago. Take my hand and walk beside me in a world. Not fantastic, I'm sure you'll agree. But here she is today, with her blocks still intact, having just received her fresh trim. She literally looks like a different cow. This is the story of cow 137, who is getting all of the care she needs and deserves and wants at this farm. They've done a great job changing the bandages when we've not been here, and those locks are doing an awesome job of keeping it up off the ground. We just need to persevere a little bit. And I'm fairly confident we'll get this completely healed. Her hoof is never going to look correct. If we look at it here, so much of it has been removed that the growth will never be proper, true, and correct again. So her hoof will never look quite right, but she will be pain-free. She's pretty much nearly there already, to be fair. This has been the Hoof GP. Thank you for watching. Catch you later.